Hi, this is Mr. Heinemann from Evergreen High School. This is for my Algebra 1 students. This is from Unit 6, Rational Exponents, Exponent Properties. So before we begin working with exponents, we should go over some vocabulary. Power just means repeated multiplication. So when we see a power, we know that means we're repeating multiplication that many times. The base is the number or variable that is raised to a power. So it's the bigger number that we write that is raised to a power. The exponent is the number or variable that represents the power itself. It's written a little bit smaller to the right and a little bit above the base so that we know that that base is raised to that power. When we simplify, we write each base once with one exponent. So even if there are multiple bases in one problem, simplify means to write each of those bases with one exponent. Expand means to show that the power is multiplying that many times. Like we did in the entry task, you rewrote those numbers as many times as, as the exponent said to. Product is the result of multiplication. When we multiply two things, the answer or result is called a product. And a quotient is the result of division. So when we divide two things, we call that answer a quotient. Now we're ready to work with exponents. So we can expand each of these by rewriting x four times for x to the fourth, and then three times for x to the third. So now when we rewrite it, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven x's here. So I write x to the seventh. For the fraction, I'm gonna write the five x's on top, and then on the bottom, just x times x for x squared. And then I can cancel two of these x's with these two x's, leaving nothing on the bottom, so I'm just going to write x to the third because there's three x's left on top. For x squared to the third, well the to the third means to rewrite x squared three times. But then I can rewrite each of those by writing x twice for each one. And now I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 x's. So now it's just x to the 6th. So when we look at x to the 4th times x to the 3rd, we found out that it equals x to the 7th. So the question is how Without expanding it, how can we make that go quicker? Well, if you notice, 4 and 3, if you add them together, you would get 7. So if you wrote x to the 4 plus 3, well, that would be x to the 7th. And this is what's called the product of powers property. When you multiply the same base, you add the exponents. And generally, for any base b, to the m times b to the n, you add the exponents. Similar to the product of powers property, the quotient of powers property, because it's representing an opposite of multiplication, when we divide two bases with two of the same base with different powers, you can see that 5 minus 2 equals 3. So we could rewrite it as x to the 5 minus 2, which is x to the third. And that's the shortcut. So when we, when we multiply, we add. And when we divide the same base, then we subtract the exponents. So for any base b to the m over b to the n, it would be b to the m 
minus n. Now finally for the power of a power property when we have x to the second power and then that whole thing raised to the third power we got x to the sixth and we know it's not multiplication so we can't add the powers and it's not division so we don't subtract them but we can get six if we multiply two times three so it would become x to the two times three equals x to the sixth so when we have a power of a power when we raise an exponent to another exponent we multiply the exponents. So for any base b to the m to the n becomes b to the m times n. Now you're ready to practice all of these properties with your team.